Afternoon, damp Sam here. Quick video, show what we've been doing today. Hacked off, drilled and injected, not just today, the last couple of days, like, hacked off, drilled and injected a new damp course, put um, damp check rods on that one, that's a stone wall. So I to put damp check rods in that wall, uh, and it will dry zone cream in rest, and drilled and injected it inside and out. We put a uh, line light on these two walls, uh, internal, internal, party wall, um, party wall. And then we, I decided to, to use fast system on here, on sides, just to get, because it plaster had been knocked off more or less all the way up to the top, and same on that side. And I just thought, you know what, to need it up, I might as well buy, couple of eight before blades and then we can do it all the way to the top. Looks a lot better, looks a lot neater. Um, I don't know what they're doing with regards to plastering. I've got to speak to owners. Um, they're currently rewiring it and it's not been rewired. So um, ceiling's gonna have to be boarded and skimmed. So I don't know whether they've got their own plasters. I'm gonna have a word with him tonight on the phone see what they, what, what they want to do because they, they'll have to take all the wallpaper off if, because we would said that on our, on our terms and conditions, all the wallpaper has to come off and, uh, and it's not been took off. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they've got their own plaster, they're gonna, they're gonna get some DNA strip paper and then they're gonna re-skim it all. So rather than us skimming bottom bit up to there and then the plaster skimming down to there, it'd be better off leaving it for the plaster to, to do a full skim all the way down. Um, that's why I've done them on sides, neatened it up, smart it up on that side and it back and down here. Um, so it, it was just a lot of bridging. <sighs> Dodgy door. That's not going to go down right well, is it? Damn, Sam, I don't know my own strength sometimes. The handles snapped completely off. It's only a cheap door anyway. Might have to buy, buy a new lock. I don't know how I'm going to get in there now. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can't believe that. Why won't it turn then? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm just going to show it inside. <laughs> so, after, after breaking all the customer's stuff, um, look at that, don't know when it opens to there. So we're bridging down here with, uh, Touching flags. There you go, that's better, isn't it? Touching flags. So we've whacked it off around there, drilled a damp course in it, to stop any, any damp coming up. Um, we've whacked off that below floor level because it's a solid floor in this side, so you don't need to be uh, plastered down, you don't need to be plastered down below the floor on the other side, I'll see it um, bridges. So we've whacked it off above floor level, there's a damp course gone in there, and that'll dry it all out. Um, so they'll be ready to renovate and get the new kitchen in. Um, the, but this is our leak jobs, so I just, just think, I think that's what I'm going to show you. So before we go, everything's cleaned up, everything's tidied up. Um, we just, James is just waiting for me now, and we'll leave these jobs all nice and clean. Cause that's how I like to be, I like to have everything tidy, clean, um, and that and that reflects on customers if you look at his reviews. So uh, I wish all plasters were like that, but they're not. So uh, one tip for you, if you're a plasterer out there, just be cleaner, you know what I mean? Clean your stuff up, clean it up as you're going along. Um, right, video's done for today. See you at next one.